Hi, this is a short introduction to our next topic, Responsive Web Design and CSS Media Queries. Basically, it's all about transforming an ordinary HTML5 uh, CSS layout into a handy mobile version. So, let's get mobile. Okay, folks, this week it's time again for some hands-on coding, and I hope you are already looking forward to it. It's going to be all about responsive web design and the so-called CSS media queries, a very new technology um, in web design. We are going to put all things together this week, and you will learn new amazing methods and techniques. You're going to work hands-on with HTML5, CSS, and a bit of JavaScript and jQuery as well. Now, this is what I already have prepared for you. On the LMS, under the current uh, topic section, Responsive Web Design, you are going to find a zip archive with the default files for this class. If you download the zip archive and if you unzip it into a folder of your choice, you will find a whole page structure already created. Um, we have an index HTML, of course, and four folders for our files, a CSS folder, a folder for the images, for the subpages, and a folder for the scripts. If you open the index HTML in a browser, it will look like this. Voila, the old timer shop, a topic which I made up for demonstration purposes. You can see that I already applied some basic CSS styles and some very basic CSS layout. I have a header section here with a, a kind of typographic logo and a slogan. I have a navigational section here built on nested lists, so it's a two-level navigation. I included already three graphics here. Um, actually, uh, three vector graphics I made once in Illustrator, displaying some very famous vintage luxury cars. And then I included some text here and headlines, also um, with basic CSS styles already applied. You can see that it is lorem ipsum dummy text because we are not concentrating so much on the content, but more on the techniques behind it. Of course, the page looks uh, very chaotic right now. And in the next step, we will um, apply a lot of CSS rules and a bit of jQuery magic to this page. The final result when the whole page is styled is going to look like this. You can see that um, the layout changed completely now into a centered layout. I uh, applied a jQuery drop-down menu here to the two-level navigation. And uh, you can also see that the graphics are rendering now as a slideshow. This is a jQuery plugin and the slideshow effect is triggered with those buttons here below. I have established a two-column um, CSS layout here and applied more formatations to my text. Now, the new thing you are going to learn about is how this layout is going to adjust itself magically if visited by a device with a smaller screen size. I can fake the effect by just resizing my browser window here. Now I'm on full screen, it's uh, 1280 pixels. If I'm going to resize it, downsize it, and if I'm reaching a size which is lesser than 800 pixels, pops, the layout 
magically transforms into a mobile style layout. You can see that the uh, complicated drop-down navigation is still implemented and it works just in a different mobile kind of style. The slideshow is uh, still integrated and it's supposed to work as well. And you can see that for the mobile version I made uh, some content disappear. Some of the uh, text which were included in the desktop version is now um, kind of deleted from the mobile version. So this is called responsive web design. If I'm going to um, turn back to the desktop version you can see that the layout is also restoring its original desktop state. So, well, this is CSS and jQuery magic. I hope this sounds interesting for you and I'm looking forward to see you in class this week. Goodbye and, um, well, so long.